This video looks at just one method of being smart switch ready and focuses on the three plate wiring method. With the advent of smart switches and smart devices and then looking at the speed and growth of the AI industry, it won't be long before smart switching in homes and industry is as commonplace as using a mobile phone. A friend recently asked a question on this subject and it turns out that he's about to rewire a house where the customer has already mentioned that he's looking at smart switching in a year or two. My friend's question was, how will smart switching affect the way that he wires things now, today, and how he wires things in the future? He was asking what preparation work could he do? In other words, can I take steps now to put wires in place for when the customer decides to go high tech in a year or two? How can I take some small, inexpensive steps to plan ahead with the lighting circuits to make my job easier in the future? And when I told him, his reply, is that it? Let's look. This is a very short video on what is required. We are making the assumption that most of you already know how to wire to a three plate system. For those that are perhaps new to the trade or need a reminder, which is what the Learn Electrics channel is all about, we have lots of videos on our channel covering all the lighting types. We've shown here the basic one way, one light, one switch configuration. Where we have the loop or feed cable going directly to the ceiling rows, usually in 1.5 by 1mm twin and earth, and a 1mm twin and earth used as a switch cable. This can be made into a two way switching circuit by adding a 1mm 3 core plus earth cable, often called a strapper cable. Or we could stick with the one way switching, but have two lamps controlled by this one switch. All we've done here is to extend the switch line and neutral between the two ceiling roses. And then we can go to two way switching with two lamps by adding our strapper cable to the previous circuit. So, back to the question, which was. If I rewire the house to the basic three plate system using the blue in the switch cable as a switched line, what happens when the customer phones me in two years and asks me to put his smart switches in? If the blue is already used for switching, what can I do? And this is it. All that you need to do is this. At the time of the rewire, install three core plus earth as the switch cable and then wire as you would for any of the switching types and leave the neutral at the switch ready for use. And this is the only change. As the next slides show, when you need a neutral, it's sat there waiting for you. And if you don't need it, well, it just sits there anyway. Just to remind ourselves on three plate ceiling roses and two way lighting switches, the live loop or line in is always the central block of three terminal holes. The outside block of three is the neutral block and the outside block of just two terminal holes is the switch block, plus an earth terminal as well. Two way switches can be used for one way switching, which means that we will often see a two way switch used in a one way circuit. It makes no difference. With most switch markings, we have a permanently connected or common terminal often marked COM, C -O -M, and the two switched terminals L1 and L2. The common is always connected to either L1 or L2, depending on the switch position. This is our lighting circuit wired to the current three plate specifications. Shown here as a single lamp and a single switch can be any of the lighting configurations that we've looked at. And this is the same circuit with three corpus earth used as a switch cable. And the two tables show the color codes for the different cables in use. For the switch wire, brown is the permanent line. Black is the switched line and marked with brown sleeving, whilst the gray is used as the neutral and marked with blue sleeving. The bare earth or CPC should be sleeved green and yellow throughout its exposed length. We must terminate the neutral wire into something. We cannot, must not, just leave it loose and exposed in the back of the switch. We can use a Wago, a terminal strip, 
or any other suitable terminal that will do the job safely and efficiently. And this is the same circuit using 3 core plus earth switch cable and a 3 core plus earth strapper cable for two way switching. So it really is as easy as that. A little forward planning and you are well prepared. Cost wise, it will make a difference of just a few pounds to the customer for the difference between 3 core plus earth and the twin and earth cable, plus the cost of a Wago or terminal block. On a good working practice side of things, we do not use the earth of a twin and earth as a neutral or a switch wire or any other wire. The earth is used exclusively as an earth or CPC. As regards colours, there will often come a point when switch wires or three core wires can't be colour matched to others in the same terminal hole. Don't worry about it. The important thing is to make sure that they are appropriately colour sleeved. Brown for wires that will have 230 volts on them at some point and blue for neutral wires. And there we have this very short video about future proofing your next rewire or indeed that new installation to make it ready for smart switching where a neutral is required at the switch. There are other methods and we will look at these very soon. Thank you for watching, it really is appreciated and we hope that you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics or one word into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.